My name's Omar with Honeycart, and here we make things super simple for your customers to order from you, all the while saving you time so you don't have to take orders the old school way. Before I jump into this demo, I want to go over the three biggest reasons why Honeycart is a better choice for caterers versus restaurants or e-commerce software. Reason number one, other systems require you to charge 100% of your customer's order directly after placing the order. With Honeycart, you can charge a percentage of that order or the full amount, but ultimately you charge your customers when you want to. Reason number two, other ordering systems don't give you the control you need over your ordering times. At best, you end up having to call or email your customers, which can defeat the purpose of having an online ordering system altogether. And last but not least, reason number three. With restaurant and e-com systems, you end up having to put your policy all over your website or in the description of every item, crossing your fingers and praying everybody reads the instructions. With Honeycart, you can automate your policies right into the ordering process without having to say a thing. Let me show you how this works. Once your account's set up, we're gonna provide you with the link that you're gonna be able to put on your social media page and your website with the call to action saying order now. Once they do click on your menu link, they'll be taken automatically to your storefront where they'll be able to see your logo and all your branding colors. They'll be able to choose an order type. Now, you can have as many order types as you want. That's going to specify the type of order that your customers are ordering from you. So if you have a delivery or a pickup or maybe even a holiday special that you're trying to promote, uh, you can definitely have as many order types as you want. Uh, I'm going to go with delivery. Now, the way that my account set up is that I need 24 hours advance notice before this customer can place this delivery. Today is Saturday, so the next available time that someone can place an order is going to be Monday, right? So I'm going to go ahead and place an order for 8 a.m. Now, once your customer hits continue, they'll be able to see your menu items. Now, with your menu items, uh, they'll, you can place those inside categories. Your customers will be able to easily navigate your menu just by clicking on those category names. Uh, you'll be able to add a, a disclaimer for your menu if you like and a description for your menu categories. Uh, on your actual menu items, you'll have the name, picture. Um, you'll even be able to have a min order amount and a special instructions box. Now you can hide that if you want. It's totally up to you. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and try to hit add, add to order. What the system is then going to do, it's actually going to block the order from occurring unless it meets this $200 minimum. Now, here's another cool thing. Now, if I change the order time from 8 a.m. to, let's say, 2 p.m., right, and then try to check out, my minimum has now changed from $200 to $300. So you have and the opportunity to have dynamic ordering uh, min order amounts during the day. And then I'll take this even a step further. Let's say I wanted to do it for the weekend on Sunday at 12 p.m. If I try to check out here, now I have a $500 minimum. So if you guys have uh, or need a way to be able to have different order minimums throughout the week automatically, um, showing your customers this information so that they know what's going on, this is going to be the perfect system for you. Um, now, I'm also going to go ahead while I'm here and show you, like, even with pickup, if I was to change this, you will see that I actually had more days available than I had for deliveries, right? So if I go back to delivery, show you the menu, then you'll see I'm, I'm only open for deliveries from Sunday through Thursday, Friday and Saturdays, I don't do deliveries. But if I change it back to the pickup date, right? I mean, a pickup order type, then you'll see that I'm actually doing um, orders every day, except for today because uh, of the um, the lead time before someone can actually order. It's supposed to be four hours, but I think this system's set to close at five. So um, unfortunately, I'm not gonna be able to order, right? Now let's see what happens when I choose the St. Patrick's Day delivery. So I'm gonna switch it, and what you'll see is I'm not able to order it on any of these days, right? 
The only day I'm able to order St. Patrick's delivery is going to be the 17th, which is actually the day it falls on, right? And then I'm gonna be able to see now the St. Patrick's Day menu for that day too as well. So not only are you able to have different order types with pickups and deliveries, you can also have different order types based on special events or special occasions or even holidays where you only want them to see the menus for those specific days or for that specific holiday. Oh, one more thing I wanna show you too. Let's say that you only have um, items that are specific for one day, right, of the week. Let's say Tuesday. So if I put here Tuesday, hit 8 a.m., what you're going to see is sushi tacos for Taco Tuesday, right? So we can even have menus or menu items that are available on specific dates, right? So those are menu items that are available on specific dates. So when customers click any other day, such as this, right? Like tomorrow, hit 8.15, they're not gonna be able to see it. So if you're looking for a way to have specific menu items or menus on specific days, this is definitely gonna be the system for you. So I'm gonna continue with this order. Just go ahead and meet the order minimum. And then I'm gonna to proceed to check out. Now from here, your customers are gonna be able to edit any menu items that they may have or um, may have added to their cart, right? Um, I have a rewards program here and I'm able to use points because I'm actually signed into the account while I'm placing the order, right? Um, so I'm not gonna use those. I have the default delivery fee set to 20. Uh, delivery fees are going to be based on the uh, s delivery locations zip code and that's how you're going to be able to um, basically enforce any delivery fees that you need based on you know how uh, on the distance away from your actual zip code now this uh, tip field right here they're going to be able to enter in whatever tip amount that they want now I do have a discount code let me go ahead and place that here uh, it's called catering 20. Uh, basically what it's going to do is give me 20% off. Hit continue. As you can see, I got 20% off now. And then I'm going to go ahead and check out. Now, this menu right here, this is another menu that they're going to see. It's like a miscellaneous menu. And what it will do is anything that's not typically on your uh, menu or doesn't come with it, like utensils or you know, uh, chafing dishes or whatever you may have, um, you can place those items here. Two things that it does, it, it raises the ticket cost and it also uh, sets the correct expectation for your customers because, you know, if you're selling utensils here, I don't think they're, they should assume that it comes with the meal, right? Um, so now what I'm gonna do, if everything checks out, I'm just gonna proceed to the checkout page. now. Here is where all my contact information is. Again, you can either uh, place an order as a guest, right? Where you don't have to create an account or you can have that order that you place create the account for you. Now your customers, they're gonna have a portal where they can see their, their billing history, their order history, order their last order again, or update their credit card information because we will be storing those on file. Um, we do use Stripe. Stripe is our payment processor. They charge 2.9% plus 30 cents for every transaction. So um, yeah, we definitely have that uh, payment processor in place uh, to help you guys charge cards and save those on file. Um, now I already am signed into the account. If, if, they, if your customer would need to add a card, this is what it would look like. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just put my visa on file. Now we have the ability uh, to, for you guys to place custom fields to ask questions and get answers from your customers as well too. So if you want, uh, you can have like let's say you have a um, a nonprofit organization as a customer and they can upload their tax exempt certificate here with the order and then you can override the tax settings in the back end of the software, right? So it's really cool. Um, next thing is, it's like you can ask, how did you hear about us? I mean, you're getting this online, you're marketing. It's only right that you, you understand where this traffic's coming from that's ordering from you, right? So I'll say Google, and then if everything checks out, uh, last thing is that 
It's going to say by um, placing this order, I agree to the cancellation policies, right? So the way that the cancellation policy on this account works is that we're going to charge you a 50% fee if it's canceled within 72 hours. And if you try to cancel within 24 hours, we're going to charge you 100% of that fee. So I'm going to go ahead and agree to those policies just by clicking this and hitting check out. Now, two things happen when a customer places an order. First thing is, is that they receive an email and the email is just going to say, Hey, uh, thank you for placing the order. Um, you know, uh, please stand by while we confirm. Here's what that email looks like. Now, this is the email. It's going to have your logo, all your branding colors still on it, all the contact information. And then we're going to have everything itemized and written out. And then all your um, company and contact information will be down here below. And then your customer will be able to click on this email that they receive, letting them know that um, you guys got their order and they can view it inside their account and do what they need to do. Now, on the flip side, you guys get another email and it looks like this email is sent directly to the caterer and it's, again it's going to have your logo all your you know branding colors and stuff that you need and then all the contact details but more importantly it's going to have you know a kitchen work order pdf attached to it which you can give to the kitchen um, and it's also going to have an operations work order which a lot of my customers use as a uh, packing slip so those are the two emails that are sent out when an order is placed. Now I'm going to flip over to the back end of the software. I'm going to show you how to work this order. So this is the order that we placed for the 24th. I'm going to click it open. It's going to give you all the details that came over from the customer facing side of the menu over here, right? Even the question that they answered. Then uh, up here are some action buttons. You can confirm, charge, edit the order, right? View the details of it. Um, I'm just going to confirm this order back to the customer and automatically they're going to be sent an email confirmation once I do uh, uh, change the status. So I'm hit save automatically. They're sent that now if I want to charge the customer, that's super simple, really easy. I come over here. All I have to do is hit charge. Now, if for some of you that want to charge a percentage of uh, like as a deposit, you can. So if I wanted to do 50% up front, I can do that. Boom. Real easily. Right. Um, if I want to charge the rest of it, I can do that too. And also if I need a refund for any reason, I can come over here and I can actually refund the charge. Okay. So you do this all inside the account, really easy, really, um, user friendly, easy to navigate all that good stuff. So now what I'm going to show you is, um, a little, I'm going to talk a little bit about corporate accounts. I'm going to keep it really, really high level. So the way that corporate account accounts work is that if you are, are servicing a large company that has many divisions, let's say Amazon, right? You can come over here, create a, a an account for for them. Um, come come over here, the bottom. Right. And then um, you can add a billing contact for this. I'm just going to put me Omar plus billing at com. Put my name here. Hit OK. Right. And then you can set a credit limit for how much that company can spend with you. Right. Um, and you can put a payment method on file for them if they pay with check or if they do whatever. Um, I'm just going to put check for now. Now, if they do it with credit card, what will happen is, is that you can have a bunch of authorized users on this account. And the way it works is, is that once you put authorized users under this particular account, those users can then order as much food as they want up until their credit limit, which is $3,000 and it's $3,000 for everyone in the company. Right. Um, and then on the first of the month automatically send them an invoice, uh, for whatever amount of money that they've used up until the $3,000. 
um, and then they can satisfy that. Now, if you, have your, if you have a credit card on file, we can charge that card automatically on the first. But if you want to customize any like net terms for them or anything like that, you can definitely do that. So we have a way for you to customize uh, when you want that invoice actually fulfilled. Um, and last but not least, um, talking about invoices, we do integrate with QuickBooks. So if you have a QuickBooks online account, we're going to go ahead. We will integrate with that. Um, and that's a complete, you know, around um, a circle, right? So we're, we're um, servicing your customers. We're enforcing their policies. We are taking in the order, order, managing that, giving it over to the kitchen, charging the card, and then, you know, sending emails and notifications out to the customers so that they know what's going on at all times. So I hope you enjoyed that. Um, if you have any uh, comments or questions that you want to ask or feedback that you want to give us, please email us at support at gethoneycart.com or leave any comments in this video. Um, and if you are a, um, you know, a, a catering guru or anything like that, and you just want to, you know, you know, uh, reach out to us and maybe even give us some feedback again, uh, you can reach out to us at support at gethoneycart.com. Thanks. Have a great day.